Welcome to Seed Bites, a segment where we provide on-farm tips and advice specific to farmers around pastures and crops. This week we're focusing on the importance of grazing management to improve productivity for summer brassica hunter. G'day there. Today we're out in the paddock of hunter talking about how to optimise grazing management in the summer brassica crop. Maximising animal performance on hunter requires two key things, rotational grazing and the correct stocking rate or allowance. Firstly, we need to set up a rotation. You're probably going to need four paddocks or breaks within your rotation, assuming each break lasts a week. This will allow the first break grazed to be ready by the time you've grazed the other three. In practice, putting up a fence down and across your hunter paddock, dividing it into four is all it takes. Ensuring access to water in all four breaks is probably the trickiest part. Rotational grazing enables a better control of grazing and increases the amount grown by the crop. Once in a rotation, the stocking rate required to meet target residuals is the other component of successful grazing. Maximum animal production occurs when, by the end of grazing, the crop has been grazed down to residual where half the PTL remains. If the crop is grazed lower than this, the stocking rate is too high and lambs will be growing too slowly to maximise production. If more of the crop is left, the stocking rate was too low and although lambs will be growing quickly, there's not enough of them per hectare to maximise production. Rotational grazing and achieving the correct grazing residuals through the right stocking rate are the keys to successful grazing of hunter leaf turnip. To find out more about grazing hunter and other brassicas, check out the website agricom.co.nz.